So what is joint life insurance? My name is Steven Sinclair from Dundas Life, and today we're going to talk about what is joint life insurance. Well, if you're currently looking for insurance coverage right now, maybe you and your partner, you might have come across joint life insurance. Joint life insurance is a bit different than two individual policies in that it covers two lives under the same coverage. So maybe you're married or you have a spouse that you're looking to purchase something like a mortgage with. Joint life insurance could be a good option for you. Now, when it comes to joint life insurance, looking to cover two lives, you typically have to have an insurable interest. So it's not just for those who are married, but typically those whose lives are entwined around some big expense, typically like a mortgage. Now, there's a couple different types of joint life insurance. First of all, we have our joint first to die. Joint first to die coverage offers coverage on two people's lives. Now, when one of those people pass, the remaining coverage goes to that survivor. Now, in the case of that joint first to die coverage, the coverage ends at that point and the remaining survivor has no coverage left. Now, in joint last to die insurance, again, we're covering two lives, but in the event of the first passing, the coverage doesn't end and the death benefit is not paid out. Instead, the remaining survivor has the coverage left on them, and when they pass, the coverage is paid out. So in joint first to die, typically, you may look at this as spouses looking to cover a mortgage. It could be a low cost option that if you're just concerned about having the coverage for that large expense and wanting to make sure that the surviving spouse has something left over, joint first to die could be a good option for your budget. In joint last to die, you may look at that and say, well, we want coverage for our children. How do we ensure that when the last of us passes, we're gonna have coverage there for them? Joint last to die could also be a good option in that case. Now, in either case, joint first to die or joint last to die can be done as a term or a permanent sort of policy. So you have options between it. Now, hopefully that answers some of your questions around what is joint insurance. If you do have more questions, feel free to reach out to a Dundas Life Advisor. Thanks for watching and have a great day.